Hello everyone, welcome to Dino Mints. And now with your Boston coffee or more bucks in hand, this is Sophisticated Hour Christmas Special. But let's not faff around. So you guys came here to find out how fast a minecart really goes and how much damage your weapons are actually doing. But don't worry, we'll get on to that in a sec. We're now finished with flamboyant intro and sexy camera angles. So once you've hit that subscribe button and uh, liked in the comments, we're gonna get on with the show. Seriously, you, uh, you, you better fucking uh, subscribe. So Notch has already told us that one Minecraft block is one meter in length, and we know that we've got seven pieces of track that our cart is going to cover. So our cart is going to go over seven meters. We also know that one mile is 1,609 meters. If we do seven divided by 1,609, we get the magic total of 0.00435 miles. Now we have the distance, and as we all know, velocity, or speed in layman's terms, equals distance over time, so we need to work out the time. What I've done is ingenious. I have I have recorded a minecart going along a track at 25 FPS. If I count the number of frames and divide that by 25, I'll get the number of seconds. It goes from frame 5010 to 5072 of this video, so all we need to do is 5072 minus 5010 to get the amount of frames, then we divide that by 25 to get the amount of seconds it's travelling for. To find out how many hours that is, we do 2.48 divided by 60 and then divided by 60 again. This comes to 0.000688. So now all we need to do is 0.00435 divided by 0.000688. This comes to a grand total of 6.322 miles per hour. That is how fast a minecart goes on powered rail. So the first task of finding out the force of a weapon is to find out the amount of distance it travelled. I did this by getting a guy, recording him, and him slashing his sword. And as it's a diagonal movement, it did 18 meters horizontally and 22 meters vertically. To get the uh, distance, then what you have to do is use, hypot is use um, Pythagoras, find out the hypotenuse, which is 18 squared plus 22 squared, which equals C squared, which was 808, then the square root, which was 28.425. Then, to work out how many blocks that is, and how many metres, because each block is one metre, you do 28.45 divided by 16, which comes out as 1.777 metres. Then, to work out the speed at which the blade fell, to work out the acceleration, I did the amount of frames if, uh, the time it, it took for the swing, which was 19, divided by the frame rate, which was 30, which came out as 0.63 seconds. Then to work out the speed, we did distance over time, which was 1.777 over 0.63. This came to 2.82 meters per second. Then to work out acceleration, you do the end speed of 2.82 meters per second minus the initial speed, which was zero, over the time, which is 0.63, and that comes out as a grand total of 4.476 meters per second squared. If we then assume that the whole of the hilt of the sword is wood, you have 40, block, 40 pixels of wood, and the rest of the sword is your material, so iron or gold or wood or stone. You have 44 pixels of that material. Then, as we know, each block is 1 meter by 1 meter by 1 meter. We do 1 divided by 16, which comes out as 0 0.065. Then, we times that, then we uh, cube that, which comes out as 0 0.000244 meters cubed. By counting pixels then we find that the number of pixels in the hilt made out of wood is 40 and the number of pixels made out of the other material is 44. Then as you can see on the table we do these calculations to find out the amount of mass in the uh, amount of mass in the sword. Then we do that mass times the acceleration which comes out to the amount of newtons you see on screen at the moment. This does not mean that gold is the most powerful sword. For example, diamond could be sharper and gold could just bend on impact. So although applies most force, does not actually apply all that force. So thanks for watching everyone. Please remember to like and subscribe. If you want me to do more of these, remember to uh, like, because it does take quite a lot of time. And you know, uh, normal uploads will be coming soon. I just want to say that we're really busy at the moment working on some stuff. So that's why there haven't been any normal uploads recently. 
Also, I've run out of footage, and I don't know how much we'll be able to record at the moment. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Please remember to like and subscribe. For now, ta -ra.